Thank you, Mr. Minister Leblanc. Hello, everyone. Our objectives have been clear to protect Canadians, to provide them with safe and effective vaccines and treatments, and to ensure a strong economic recovery. With these goals in mind, we are continuing to work with our international partners to secure enough vaccines for all Canadians to receive their shot by September. And I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all the doctors uh, that we have today, Dr. Tam New and Bertium, who have done exceptionally well to serve Canadians during these times. But equally important are our efforts to reveal vaccine manufacturing capacity here at home in Canada. And on that front, let me say a few words about some very, very good news we got this morning regarding Canadian drug developer Medicago. The company announced this morning that it has started a late-stage study of its experimental COVID-19 vaccine. The phase three trial is expected to involve 30,000 people in some 10 countries, including obviously Canada. This is of course great news for Canadians and also another demonstration of how our investments in Maine in Canada vaccine development are showing concrete results for people. You will all remember that last year, our government invested 173 million to accelerate Medicare's goals vaccine development, to secure doses, and to complete the company's manufacturing plant in Quebec City. Which brings me, ladies and gentlemen, to share with you some more good news on the biomanufacturing front with you here today. I am pleased to announce three new investments as part of our domestic biomanufacturing strategy, including supporting a promising therapeutic candidate developed here in Canada. First, we are helping Novocal Pharmaceutical expand their facilities in Cambridge, Ontario, to create a high-speed fill and finish line. As you may know, fill and finish is the packaging stage of the vaccine and therapeutics manufacturing process. We know that Canada's gaps uh, in the availability of this kind of service here in our country. So this is a key supply chain investment that we are doing to improve resilience here at home in Canada. The Novoco project will also help create 25 new highly skilled jobs while maintaining their existing workforce of about 350 employees. The deuxième project dans lequel nous the investissons aujourd'hui we're investing in today is to increase the fill and finish in Canada. We're working in partnership with labs the facilities in Saint-Hubert and also put in new facilities in Quebec. And now more than 30 million vials can be filled in Saint-Hubert and produce antibodies at val des this project will maintain 140 jobs as well as creating 40 new jobs in Quebec. The third investment today is for Immune Biosolutions in Sherbrooke, Quebec. This investment will help develop and evolve the therapeutic sector, a true Quebec solution. In addition, this business will establish a biopharmacy clinical facility in an accelerated manner. Biomanufacturing investment. Uh, I am pleased to announce 113 million for the next stage of funding to advance the Made in Canada vaccine and therapeutics projects to the National Research Council. Industrial Research Assistance Program, which has been helping a lot of companies across our nation. Since the start of the pandemic, this program has provided advisory support and more than 37 million in funding to advance early stage 
and development research of six domestic vaccine candidates and seven domestic therapeutics candidates for COVID-19. When the 13 recipients complete their current stage of work, the National Research Council will work to advance the most promising of these candidates to the next phase of clinical development. Two les projets aujourd'hui. All of today's projects have been examined and recommended by our working group experts on vaccines and therapeutic products. I want to take the opportunity today to thank them for their hard work and to continue to counsel uh, the Government of Canada in our efforts. Our government invested approximately $1 billion to advance industrial research and development in vaccines and pharmaceuticals and biomanufacturing capacity. Today's announcement is a, another good illustration of how we are moving forward with our domestic biomanufacturing strategy. It is a strategy which is aimed at reversing a 40-year trend by supporting short-term strategic actions with a long-term vision. Indeed, by investing in our domestic biomanufacturing capacity, we are advancing vaccines and treatments today while at the very same time strengthening Canada's response to any future outbreaks. Ladies and gentlemen, Canada has the talent, the innovators, and the willing partners to be a global leader in this space. So let's seize the moment. Let's be ambitious. And let's together rebuild our biomanufacturing sector here in Canada. With that, Mr. Chair, I will turn over to you. Merci.